Hey everyone, hope you're doing great today. I've got some good news for you guys. I spent more than a week testing eight of the most popular custom OSs across eight different games ranging from Fortnite and Marvel Rivals to Cyberpunk and even World of Warcraft. And I'm so glad to announce that the results are finally in. Long story short, about two weeks ago, someone asked me what's the best custom OS, and since all the other videos out there are either one year old or feel incomplete as they're not a full comparison between all Windows versions, I called up my boss and booked 10 days off work to get this done myself. In today's video, we'll test all custom OS's that run on Windows 11 24H2 and are considered safe, and as a bonus, I added Windows 10 LTSC and Windows 11 23 H2 to serve as a comparison. But why would I need a custom Windows, you might ask? Well, it could be beneficial for you, especially if you have a low-end PC and would like to squeeze the most performance possible out of it. Custom editions of Windows 10 and 11 usually come with no bloatware, less active processes, and have a lower RAM usage than the official Microsoft releases. This can potentially increase performance on both low and high-end systems, but can also break some things, which includes Windows Defender, Microsoft Store, and Windows Update. And on some specific versions, even apps that people might find useful were removed. These include Xbox, Snipping Tool, Notepad, and Calculator, to name a few. With this out the way, I need to make sure you stay safe. Please do not download any custom OS with Windows Defender and security mitigations disabled. Even if you don't keep sensitive files on your PC, you still visit websites and use your credentials online. The extra 5 FPS that you might or might not get from disabling it is not worth the risk. But enough yapping for now, let's see the system specs and the games we tested. I've got my old trusty Ryzen 7 paired with a Radeon RX 7900 XT and 48GB of RAM. The games I tested were Fortnite, Counter-Strike 2, Marvel Rivals, World of Warcraft, Overwatch 2, Cyberpunk, GTA 5, and Valorant. As for the benchmarking methods and tests I ran, every game was benchmarked three times on each OS to avoid run variants, and I used a controlled environment such as benchmark maps where possible, while for the games that didn't have one, I simply used areas that would produce similar results every single time. Additionally, on every Windows installation, there's three things I've done. First, I installed the latest chipset drivers, then the latest graphics drivers, and finally, all the latest Windows updates. All of this was done just to ensure the results are stable across the board, and there's no factors contributing to one install having worse performance than the other. I also tested the driver latencies, checked the process counts, and RAM usage for every single version. But without further ado, let me help you guys find the best Windows version for the games you play. And um, hey, join our Discord server by the way. Thank you. Now let's start with the results. Measuring the process count on a clean boot left us with 152 on a regular Windows 11 and only 59 on Sapphire OS. RAM usage on a clean boot was 6.2 GB on a regular Windows 11, and only 2.4 GB on Windows X Lite 1123H2, which is 61% less. Using LatencyMon to measure driver latency while watching a 4K video for a few minutes, we saw the lowest latency with Sapphire OS, while the highest, or worst, goes to RevI OS. Now let's move on to the game benchmarks. First up is Counter-Strike 2. We saw the best average FPS with Windows X Lite 1124H2 and the best lows with Atlas OS 1124H2. In Valorant, on the other hand, we saw the best average FPS and lows with Windows 11 X Lite 23H2. In Marvel Rivals, results were pretty similar across the board, except for a few odd ones. We've got the highest average FPS with Windows 11 X Lite 23 H2 and the best lows with Atlas OS 11 24 H2. In Fortnite, we had the best average and low FPS with Windows 11 X Lite 23 H2 again. Guess we're on a roll now. In Overwatch, except for the usual Windows 10 LTSC bad performance, Results were pretty stable, with Windows 11 X Lite 23 H2 being the winner for highest average FPS and Revi OS grabbing the prize for highest 0.2% lows. 
Once again, in Cyberpunk 2077, the results across the board were pretty similar, but we got the best average FPS with Revi OS 1124H2 and the best lows with Windows 11 XLite 24H2. For GTA 5, we've got Core V OS 11 LTSC as the clear winner with both highest average FPS and highest 0.2% lows. And once again, in World of Warcraft, we had Windows 11 XLite 24H2 with both the highest average and 0.2% low FPS. And lastly, let's see the best OS for every game we tested so far. We've got Windows 11 XLite 23H2 performing the best for Fortnite, Valorant, Marvel Rivals, and Overwatch 2, followed by his younger brother, Windows 11 XLite 24H2, which performs the best with Counter-Strike 2 and World of Warcraft, The War Within, then followed by the last two winners, Revi OS 11 24H2 for Cyberpunk and Core VOS for GTA 5. But with the game results out the way, let's see how these custom OS's performed overall. I gathered all FPS metrics and put them together to form an accurate score in order to determine the real winner. Let's check it out. Even on a high-end PC, we saw a huge performance boost between a regular Windows 11 and Windows X Lite 24H2, and an even bigger one between Windows 10 LTSC and Windows X Lite 23H2, which also resulted in 35% overall FPS increase across all games between the two. I also wanted to announce that I'll be making a custom OS sooner than you guys think. It will be automatically debloated, safe, and privacy oriented, while also allowing you to jump straight into gaming without changing much after doing a fresh install. And if you'd like to stay updated and be the first to know when it's released, please make sure you're subscribed with the bell and let me know in the comments down below what's one aspect of an operating system that's the most important to you, whether that's privacy, performance, looks, or anything else you can think of. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. Now time for some very important news. I just ordered an NVIDIA Reflex Latency Analyzer Monitor, which should already be here by the time this video gets to you. What this means is that we'll be able to determine the input latency from the click of a mouse button to the screen. From the screen, 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 from the screen. Accurately without the guesswork. This method will be used in future videos where we'll investigate what's the best Windows and BIO settings for the lowest possible input delay. But hey, back on topic now. I want to give a big shout out to the creators of these custom OS's. I know you guys put in a lot of work into them, and you're the goats for this. So that's a wrap guys, hope this video helped you decide what to do, and I hope you're excited for the future videos as much as I am. Thank you so much for watching, love you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey why is it so dark here? Ah look, a legend.